Hi, in this uh, short video tutorial, I'd like to show you a trick to easily handle multi-level terminals in ePlan P8. Now, ePlan P8 does support multi-level terminals, but the handling is not always as easy as one would like, and uh, with this little trick, I hope to make your life easier. So the situation here is that uh, I have my 24 volt DC plus and minus rails at the top of my screen and then I have uh, some photo eye sensors that uh, are connected to a PLC input card. So in order to wire these sensors uh, that are outside our cabinet, we of course need to insert terminals. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to take a terminal and I can simply click and drag across to create a line of terminals like this. And now you notice that I'm working in IEC mode, but the same applies to uh, JIC mode where we work in uh, ladder configuration. For the second row, I will uh, simply press shift and I can uh, keep adding terminals to my current terminal strip. So there you have it, I have 12 terminals in this case, 1 to 12, and uh, if I take a look at my uh, terminal strip navigator, I can see that my 12 terminals are there, and the editor shows me that I do have a bunch of jumpers here, which are not properly uh, assigned since uh, uh, my terminal strip is not properly uh, ordered uh, as of now. Now the goal here is to make this group of three terminal into a one multi-level terminal and then after that this other group and so on and so forth such that each photo eye will tie into a single multi-level terminal. In order to do that we can simply select all the positive terminals and assign them uh, for example level number one. In my example plus DC is going to be level 1, 0 volt DC is going to be uh, level 2, and signal is going to be level 3. So now I'll assign my level 2, and then finally level 3. Now if I look again at my navigator and edit my terminal strip, I notice something here. I have my levels 1 and 2, 1 and 2 and so on, and then all my level 3 are at the end, which is not really what I want. In order for ePlan P8 to handle multi-level terminals, we need to have them in a consecutive fashion, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So the normal way to handle this situation would be to simply uh, make sure that we split the terminals and then grab let's say this number three bring it up here grab this number three bring it here this one here and this one and then click apply and now I can see that everything is properly assigned but this is tedious to do manually so I'll simply cancel that <coughs> And uh, with my little trick here uh, that I'm going to show you, I'm going to do that much quicker. So the trick here is to simply select each group of terminal that I want to become one terminal and I'll assign them a sort code, unique sort code. Here I'll assign zero, on this one I'll assign, sorry, I'll assign one, on this one I'll assign two. And finally, on this group, I'll assign sort code 3. So, basically, I have these three terminals with sort code 0, these three terminals with sort code 1, 2, and 3. So now, if I go back to my editor, I can see that automatically everything is as it should be. Now, of course, uh, there, this still involves a bit of manipulation. In a uh, later video, I propose to show you uh, a little script that I have created that handles uh, the assignment of uh, sort code 
in a semi-automated way. So for now, enjoy this uh, uh, trick and uh, keep on using PA.